Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim students, uh, let's, let's start the last lecture of lanthanides and actinides and uh, that is recording uses of uh, these uh, metals which we discussed so far in our course. Uh, there are many uses of lanthanides and actinides and probably you would be aware of some of the uses because we discussed some in your previous lectures for example in nuclear reactions they were used as starting materials for production of energy so that can be uh, one of the fantastic use of these metals uh, let come to the point that how many other uses of lanthanides and actinides do have in everyday life so the first one is uh, they are used in the production of pyrophoric alloys and if you go to definition of pyrophoric material, so pyrophoric materials are those materials uh, when they come in contact with air within five minutes they catch fire. Also uh, sometimes they can be defined that uh, they are those materials uh, which catch fire above 50 degrees C. So those materials which catch fire either above 50 degrees C are they come in contact with air or oxygen and catches fire so they are called pyrophoric alloys so an alloy definitely you are aware of alloy that this is a mixture of two or more than two metal species so pyrophoric alloys are formed uh, are the uh, lanthanides and actinides are integral part of pyrophoric alloys uh, they contain cerium lanthanum neodymium and some non uh, lanthanides and actinides metals for example iron aluminium calcium carbon and silicon so whenever these alloys come in contact with air they catch fire r uh, whenever their temperature is raised to raise above 50 degrees c then they catch fire and uh, therefore uh, they can be used for certain purposes which we are coming uh, to discuss uh, on the basis of this nature the pyrophoric alloy is used in cigarette lighters uh, uh, and I think there is no need to explain further the cigarette lighter that what is inside and how it catches fire or how it is used for uh, firing purposes or in order to ignite something. Uh, they can also be used in toys and in flame throwing tanks. So this is related to defense. Uh, and in this case such material or uh, this pyrophoric alloy is used in order to throw flame against someone so for useful or used or uh, adverse purposes adverse effects uh, they can also be used as uh, in tracer bullets there are two types of bullets one type of bullets uh, they are given here in this figure and probably you are aware of bullets uh, and I am sure that each of one have bullet at your home. Let us ask your parents or your elders at home that what type of uh, tracer bullets are. These bullets are normally, they are fired at the occasion of happiness in our areas or in our societies and uh, they can be seen from far away whenever they are fired in the, uh, during night time. So these are special bullets uh, which are fired during night time, not during day times. And uh, uh, we can see that how far the bullet is, uh, is traveling in the air uh, and one can uh, enjoy it. So in tracer bullets, they can also be used. Uh, another use of lanthanides and actinides is uh, the use of ceria and thuria. They are used in gas lamps. Uh, in gas lamps, this is the gas mantle and gas mantle is used normally in uh, gas uh, cylinders or something like that which is used for lightning purposes only not for cooking purpose. So whenever normal or ordinary uh, gas is used or it is ignited so the light comes from the ignition of normal uh, gas this is not uh, enough. Uh, but whenever this mantle is used to, so it produces more light and uh, therefore it is used uh, during the uh, time of load shedding for example in our area or in those areas where there is no electricity so 
the gas mantles or gas cylinders for lighting purposes can be used but normally this the use of this these uh, gases is becoming less and less in our society due to uh, the um, uh, electricity or which is uh, commonly used uh, in our areas or houses or homes or uh, emergency lights are now coming they are electric they are rechargeable so they are more economic so therefore we are using now the um, emergency lights nowadays at homes but uh, if you ask somebody so in market i guess mentals are still uh, available and i'm sure everywhere they uh, will be accessible cerium salts they can be used in drying in dyeing of cottons uh, to to color cotton to dye cottons so some industrial process would be involved and cerium salts are used there in cotton industry uh, long life rechargeable uh, lead batteries uh, which is actually used for storage of energies so they are also uh, formed of lanthanides and actinides or lanthanides and actinides they are used in the production of rechargeable batteries somewhere then uh, as you are aware of the uh, compounds of lanthanides majority of lanthanides and a uh, few actinides so their compounds are available uh, and these compounds are used as catalyst in order to uh, give various products which are commercially or industrially important so their compounds can be used as catalysts and uh, the uh, the use of catalyst is uh, normally this is toward green environment or um, uh, green chemistry uh, in order to eliminate toxic uh, things like solvents and other chemicals and to carry out reaction at low temperature uh, in the presence of least resources uh, then lanthanides and actinides they are used in metallothermic reactions we are coming toward metallothermic reactions that what metallothermic reactions are and these metallothermic reactions definitely metal is metallothermic this is the uh, binomial nomenclature so metal and thermic so the energy is produced uh, because of use of metal so in these reactions metals are used and uh, due to the use of metal a certain amount of energy would be produced and that amount of energy will be used for useful purposes uh, now this why they are used in metallothermic reactions so we have already discussed the reducing power of lanthanides and actinides since they possess extraordinary reducing power on the basis of uh, this good or more reducing power if we can say uh, they can be used in, in metallothermic reactions and these metallothermic reactions for instance are used to uh, obtain metals in power form so these metals can be lanthanides and actinides themselves or can be other metals than lanthanides and actinides so these are some examples that niobium in power form zirconium iron cobalt nickel manganese yttrium tungsten uranium boron and silicon so for example these metals can be used in pure form because of uh, the use of metallothermic reactions now what are metallothermic reactions so here in this case the both the reactants and pro, the, both the reactants are normally in solid states so it means the metallothermic reactions are solid state reactions and they are used normally in batch process in after initiation of reaction or after the reaction starts the one of the reactant becomes liquid and the other one is obtained as uh, as gas now uh, or we can say they are actually the products so the reducing species become liquid at the uh, reaction temperature uh, and another reactant or the product becomes gas so separation of gas from liquid become easy and the liquid when comes to solid state uh, it gives the metal in power form so this reaction uh, as i told you can be used for purification of metals or in this reaction pure metals can be obtained and the thermal energy produced during this reaction or gaseous products can be used for further useful purposes then uh, there are some alloys where the lanthanides and actinides are integral part uh, of those alloys 
uh, and uh, one of uh, the alloys is known as mesh metal one of the alloy of lanthanides and actinides is known as mesh metals and this mesh metal contains the major portion of lanthanides uh, that is cerium lanthanum and neodymium uh, and if you look at the percent percent amount present in the alloy so they are sufficiently the, the percentage is sufficiently high uh, and some small amount of other lanthanides can also be used in this mesh alloy mesh metals uh, and except lanthanides and actinides, iron and calcium can also be used, uh, which are regarded as impurities. So these mesh metals, they are used for some specific purposes. Uh, for example, in production of special brands of uh, steel, like heat resistant steel, stainless steel, and uh, those which are used in instruments. So they are definitely high quality steels and high quality steels are produced because of this uh, mesh metals. Magnesium alloy uh, in mesh metals containing uh, magnesium uh, up to 30% and 1% zirconium, they can also be used in parts of uh, jet engine when they are produced. So this is even more expensive or more useful uh, uh, alloy of lanthanides and actinides and some non F block elements. The uranium, which is the which is a member of the uh, uh, actinide series, and if you remember with atomic number 92, so this is in the beginning of the series. This is fashionable, or it undergoes uh, uh, natural disintegration uh, and is used as fuel in nuclear power plants so this can also be used uh, for the production of thermal energy because nuclear power plant you are aware of the plant that how uh, it works and for what purpose they are uh, used so for energy production electrical and thermal energy can be produced in nuclear powers power plants and the component uh, the uranium can also is also a component of nuclear weapons so this is the fabrication of uranium in the fuel cell or uh, inside the nuclear reactor which is used so here is the uranium material and here is the uranium material and this material will undergo disintegration and that disintegration will uh, produce certain amount of certain uh, phenomena for example energy and neutrons which can be used for initiation of nuclear reactions and so on Plutonium-238 is also used as power source for long mission space probes. So it also now has almost the same uh, use as uranium has. Uh, then actinides such as americium, they are used as smoke detectors. So uh, this material is used in order to detect smoke and definitely then smoke detectors are regarded as security instruments or security uh, 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 what we can say components the actinide is used as gamma and neutron source so gamma rays can be used for useful purposes neutron source can be used for useful purposes and a large number of actinides are used in defense operation for example nuclear weapons uh, and for the production of energy so nuclear weapons can be used for destructive purposes while the production of energy can be used for constructive purposes